Hello, this is Jerry Ganfield with the Steele County Historical Society. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the village of Rice Lake. Some people may be familiar with Rice Lake State Park, Park, and this was a village that was just to the east of the entrance of the park, which existed back in the 1850s, late 1850s. Rice Lake was a major stop on the stagecoach route that went from Rochester to Manorville to Wasioja, Rice Lake, and Owatonna. And at the time when it started up, um, Mr. Lord had the stagecoach route, and he uh, sold it to Mr. Walker, who was the principal owner of stagecoaches in Illinois, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. And he was successful for a while, but he ran into a little debt. And so the sheriff was told to uh, attach his stagecoaches and his horses to pay his debts. However, the stagecoach carried the U.S. mail, and there was a federal law that said you cannot impede the, the flow of the mail. <clears throat> so the sheriff had a hard time finding at a time when he could attach the coaches and the horses. So he figured out he would take the coaches and horses when they took the mail off before they got the new bail bag on. Well, that didn't last long because Mr. Walker found that that was uh, easy to fix. Okay, you put the new bag on before the old one was taken off. But they had a struggle for a while. But Rice Lake actually grew into about 15 businesses and 15 homes. A couple of blacksmith shops, uh, photo shops, general store, creamery, and church, and others. And they've, they had two sorghum mills that came from Rice Lake uh, water because Rice Lake was deeper at that time. It had been a prime spot for Native Americans, uh, Lakota Sioux, to harvest rice at that time. Um, and the city thought it was going to prosper because on this major stagecoach route. And so they drew up a plan and platted a very large town for when the railroad came through, which was going to arrive about 1866. Unfortunately, the railroad chose a slightly different route and went south to the village of Claremont and then to Owatonna. And so Rice Lake began to disappear. The businesses uh, pulled up stakes and moved to Claremont or Owatonna. And so the Rice Lake village disappeared, leaving finally only a store and the Methodist church. Presently, the only store that's still building that's still standing is the church, uh, which actually served until the 1970s for um, local denominations when it went into disrepair and has been restored um, by a local group. Um, so it looks pretty nice uh, standing there as the only building left at the village of Rice Lake. All an effort to preserve and sharing our history today for tomorrow.